Hello, 大家好，欢迎回到外媒看中国，我是安博远。China is a huge country of 1.4 billion, the second largest economy in the world, and a hugely influential nation. Basically, what happens here affects the entire planet. But many Westerners don't really understand China, let alone how the Communist Party runs the state day by day. Well, today I hope to change that and teach you the basics about the most powerful body of the Communist Party of China, the Central Committee. Let's get started. Last time we talked about the process of the National Party Congress and how this year's more than 2,000 delegates will vote for the next Central Committee, or Zhongyan Wei Yuanhui, the top decision-making body of the Communist Party of China. In this episode, I'll describe what the Central Committee is in more detail and what their duties are during each five-year term. One of the goals of the National Party Congress, currently underway in Beijing, is to elect around 200 CPC members who will become the next Central Committee of the Communist Party of China. All of the top posts, including the Politburo, the Politburo Standing Committee, and the General Secretary, are chosen from that 200. This year's Congress, Arshida, as mentioned in my last video, is made up of 2,296 party delegates from all over China. At the end of the week-long meeting, they'll elect the next central committee. Each vote is done by secret ballot after long deliberations about potential candidates. Contrary to popular belief, the very top positions, including the Politburo and the General Secretary, aren't chosen until after the National Party Congress ends, in what is officially called the first plenary session of the Central Committee, or Yizhong Chuanhui in Mandarin. Plenary here just means that all members must be present in order for the meeting to go ahead. The Mandarin is much clearer than the English, Chuan Hui, which literally means full meeting. The first session's main goal is to elect members for those key positions. Other important posts will also be filled, like members of the Central Military Commission and members of the discipline body that enforces the party's important anti-corruption rules. Normally, the Central Committee will vote for 25 members to become the Political Bureau, or the Politburo for short, which becomes the top decision-making body of the CPC when the Central Committee isn't in session, meeting roughly once a month. After that, around seven members of the 25 will be chosen to become the Politburo Standing Committee. Standing committee here means that they're always active, basically, and take control of day-to-day -day business when the Politburo and/or the Central Committee are not in session. The Central Committee also decides who takes the core position of the party, the General Secretary, who is also a part of the Politburo Standing Committee. The first session concludes with the new Politburo Standing Committee, which includes the General Secretary, walking out and meeting local and foreign media. This is expected to take place this year on October 23, and it will be the first time the public knows who has been elected. The Central Committee will meet for a total of seven times in their five-year term, and their tasks for each of those sessions are generally quite predictable based on past conventions. The second plenary session of the Central Committee, Ar Zhong Chuanhui, happens after the New Year and is basically in preparation for Liaohui, or two sessions. An important annual meeting of the National People's Congress and the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. Those two bodies, who are also elected for five-year terms, together make up Liaohui and are a key part of China's whole process democracy. But for now, they're not important, so we'll move on. The third to sixth plenary sessions all take place near the end of the year, so they will include annual work reports. And、according to convention, each of these annual meetings will also feature special tasks. For example, during the 18th Central Committee's term, the third plenary session, or Sang Zhong Chuanhui, featured significant proposals for deepening economic and political reform. The Politburo will also use these sessions to report to the Central Committee about their year's work. These sessions usually last for three to four days. The seventh and final plenary session takes place right before the next National Party Congress in the fifth and final year. This is when the Central Committee is getting ready to hand the reins over to a newly elected committee. They'll discuss and adopt their work report detailing achievements from the five-year term, and decide when the next National Party Congress will take place, among other things. Basically, the seventh plenary session acts as a link between the current and the next Central Committees. 
So in summary, the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China is the central body of the CPC. It's a very hierarchical structure, so it might be easier to describe it one more time, but this time from the top down. Here goes. The General Secretary of the CPC is in the core position. He's one of the seven or so members of the Politburo Standing Committee, the top decision-making group of the party. The seven or so members of the Standing Committee make up part of the Politburo, a 25-member group. Those 25 are also answerable to and make up part of the 200-member Central Committee as a whole. Basically, if the Central Committee isn't in session, then the responsibility falls to the Politburo. And if the Politburo isn't in session, then responsibilities fall to the Politburo Standing Committee. And that's basically it, you guys, in my simple lesson about the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China. I hope it made sense. If you're like me, seeing the structure and processes laid out visually is a huge help, so I hope you've learned something today. So which part of the Central Committee do you think is the most interesting? Do you have any questions that weren't covered today? Let me know down below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.